I started playing pretty young, like five or six years old. And um, at 10, uh, my dad decided that I was ready to be a pro and he uh, hired me in his band, which was called the Nomads. Pretty cool education of, of jazz, bebop, you know, just hanging with my family because it was like a family band. Fast forward a few years, by the time I was 15, uh, I was on tour with a guy named Jay Mason. My very first tour of America opening for people like Sly and the Family Stone and the Doobie Brothers. I got a chance to see a lot of really amazing people on that tour. The next year at age 16, uh, I was playing drums for LaBelle, which was uh, Patti LaBelle's group. It was an interesting time as a teenager because on one hand, I was playing jazz with my father. On the other hand, I was playing funk and R&B and rock with my contemporaries. And so all of this shaped me into who I am right now. Throughout it all, uh, from day one, I've been, I've been playing Zildjian cymbals. I came on board officially as a Zildjian artist I want to say it was back in like 1981 or 82. I had just joined Weather Report and I actually remember kind of making a cold phone call to Lenny DiMuzio. It took a few phone calls to get it going but we made it happen and uh, it's been over 30 years now that I've been officially a Zildjian artist but for my entire life I've really been a Zildjian artist. For me, a, a cymbal setup has to be versatile um, because what happens with me is that I'm kind of ending up in all sorts of different places musically. You know, one moment I'm doing a bebop vibe with my trio. Another time, you know, I could be in the studio with the band Daft Punk, for instance. For me, cymbals have to be able to provide that wide palette of colors that allow me to be who I am no matter where I go. My setup lately has been a combination of uh, Zildjian A's, of Zildjian K's and Zildjian hybrids in different places depending on the gig. And, and I, I would even say one of, one of my recent faves is the hybrid trash smash. I, I love this symbol. It's a lot of fun. I also love the, uh, the left side ride with the three rivets in it for, for jazz. But I've been using odd size crashes for many years, 17s, 19s, 13s. And typically those are, are A's because I lean toward the more brighter and harmonically complex crash cymbals. But I do like the case for the rides because I prefer the rides to be a little bit drier. That's the beauty of a Zildjian. You know, you're not dealing with a, a cookie cutter concept. You're dealing with the fun of discovering your Zildjian. You know, it's not like you're gonna go into the store, you're gonna go through a bunch of 22 inch ride cymbals and they're all gonna sound the same. You're gonna go shopping hopefully with the stick that you use all the time and you're gonna basically have a tonal adventure when you're shopping for a Zildjian cymbal. And what you land on, nobody else is gonna sound like you. And that's, that's what I love about Zildjians. <laughs>